Who is it? Hey, how you doing? All right, come on. It works? My bad. Yeah, go ahead. It works. No dogs. Huh? No dogs. Oh, no, I ain't got no dogs. It works. And it wasn't even dirty when I washed it out. It Okay, yeah, I see it. So when the unit look runs, disgusting. goes inside here, you fill up a water in that pipe. Mm -hmm. It's just like a toilet thing, it's a float switch. It just it pushes it up and cuts it off. So when you say you say you cut it on, okay, you got it's seventy one degrees in mm -hmm. the house right now. So if I cut it on seventy sixty nine. So should I? I can still run the air without this unplug. Yeah. Okay. You could ever stay like like I got it. So you gonna run, long as it, long as it's not hanging down. Man. Do you smell anything right now? Like a light, even just faintly? Cause I can smell it, but it's normally strong. Like I guess. So once I service, you won't have that problem. Okay. Okay. You won't be, you won't be smelling all that old dirty, dirty smell. Whatever you think, the junk smell. Cause we gonna clean it up. Okay. Okay. So okay, like. Being, okay, so being inside, it's stuffy. When coach is coming out, you get fresh air. Is that right. with the air quality or just no ventilation in there? Well, you got to service it. Once I clean it, you won't have that problem. Okay. Okay. It won't be stuffy or none of that. You won't have... Once I clean that car, you be here with my son. He, he show, he, when he cut it out and lay it out on the ground, you'll see all that dirt and muck and all that. Then you'll understand what it's Okay. Saying. If he come early, I, I'll, I'll be have up there. I'll come early, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Yep. Hey, boo. Hey. How was school? Good. Okay. So, y'all, real quick, I didn't record everything, but... <gasps> I didn't record everything, but I wish I would have been recording the part where he said um, he's trying to get a service contract from Miss Brenda, but she did it. As soon as he said that, I was I just rolled my eyes, turned my head. You ain't even got to explain to me. I don't even need you to explain to me what she said, how she feeling, feeling some type of way, because I know how the fuck she is. And he was like, regardless of whatever she trying not to do, she has to sign this because this unit needs to be serviced. He was, as soon as he looked at it, he was like, it's, it's nasty. It needs to be serviced. And thank you. So he was like, it needs to be serviced. So regardless, it's going to be on us. It ain't going to be on me. Go wash your hand. That's mine. It ain't going to be on me. I've been here three years. That shit never been serviced. If I knew how that looked when I moved in here, I didn't. The, I checked everything in here but that. I wouldn't have moved in here. Or I would have said this needs to be clean right now. So you don't want this shit to be serviced because you don't want it to come out your... It's not coming out of your pockets. It's, it's coming out of whatever funding for this place. It's not your money. And even if it was your money, bitch, it needs to be serviced. You're the landlord. Get it together. When he said that, y'all, I was just... I was like, but he was like, he gonna come out tomorrow. He can't do it today. He gonna send somebody out. His son out tomorrow. He gonna cut the stuff out. Because as soon as he took the vent out, I said, I already didn't wash it and clean it. That's not the problem. He looked up under there. And I just made a video too. I was like saying by when I take the um the vent out, we, it kind of a little bit better, but it gets worse too. And when I put the vent back in, it kind of brings back the odor. So he was, as soon as he looked at the thing under there, he was like, "Oh yeah, that's the problem right there. It's filthy. I'm sure it is." So he was like, "That's why all the black stuff is coming around the vents, and that's probably why it's stinking here." And I, when we walked out, I was like, "See, when you come out, you get better fresh air. You can breathe better versus coming in." It's stuffy and it's hard. It's like it's hot. It's humid. It's humid in here. Like now, if there's still odors and stuff like that, that could be something else too. But he said that should fix the most problem. He said because that needs to be serviced. It has not been serviced in years. So that means the person that was living here before me, y'all did not service it when they was living here, and you didn't service it when they fucking moved out because the shit is filthy. Because when I moved in here, I made when I was cleaning all that shit like that. They had a little air wick, little filter thingy, the little sponge thing in the vents, and they had them other dryer sheets in the vents too. So when I cleaned, this is my second time cleaning them, and I had put one in ours. Baby, you need to do better. How the fuck? And I'm going to post my other video too, so this will come after the fact.
But how you a landlord and you don't want to service shit properly for your tenants. So that means whatever funding that comes for these apartments and shit, y'all must be getting paid additional money or funds or some kind of shit because you're trying to pocket the fucking money instead of taking the money and spending it where the fuck it needs to go. I've been complaining. I'm going to say complaining because a bitch will say you complaining, complaining, complaining. It is what it is. So I've been complaining all this time for this AC and this foul smell what's been going on in this apartment and i said this is gonna be my last time so when i told y'all which i don't know because i haven't posted the video yet when i went over there to put the word order she like oh my sister any people seen out of there she never did put the word order in the computer so what i did was i went myself and put the word order in and i stated again this is, i stated several times how i have requested for this ac to be repaired and we are getting sick this is my last time because i was gonna call the people on your motherfucking ass i'm i'm done with people getting away with shit but yeah, they gonna come and they are gonna come service it. I might not be here tomorrow because I have an appointment to go to, but if he sent his son early in the morning, I'll get up and I'll be here. <sighs> I was just like, Lord, thank you because I know it needs to be serviced. I know it's the AC. You cannot tell me that it's not because you don't want to pay for shit in the same way it's mold behind these fucking walls and you trying to tell me, oh, that's paint, bitch. Ain't no fucking paint black. If I bleach it and a spot go away and it comes back, eventually, bitch, that's fucking mold. Ooh. You don't want to smell shit. You don't want to know the shit because you don't want to put me in another fucking unit and you don't want to send nobody out to fucking repair. But you keep fucking off, your ass going to be coming out some a, a, a bigger issue. Lawsuits. Yes, I'm pissed off. Like, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up because it, it shouldn't have took three years for you to finally send somebody out here. And then, too, I'm, I'm assuming, too, with it being so nasty and gucky, like, with the thermostat, tell them, too, because, like, in the middle of the night, if I put the air on 70, and I'm like, damn, why the air ain't been kicking on? It's hot as fucking here. It's really stuffy now. It be on 77, 78, and I be thinking she be doing it. And I'm like, damn, why does she keep jumping by itself? All that shit plays a part in it. And then he was like, um, he was like, it looks really, really good. He's like, I'm not blaming you that it's dirty like that. He was like, this is probably like the best one I have seen. I was like, listen, this thing was worse than this when I moved here. I have been cleaning, taking my time trying to clean this wall here and there. And it's the best I can get it. Like, you can tell all down there how it looked. Or whatever. He was like, he was like, I ain't saying, he's like, it just needs to be serviced. He's like, it needs to be serviced. It, it hasn't been serviced, it needs to be serviced. So I, I'm not blaming you. He's like, it actually looks good. You, you actually been keeping it up. And I honestly need to start coming out here more often to sit to get some fresh air. But as soon as you come out here, you get attacked by fucking mosquitoes and nets and bugs and food like fucking fleas and ticks and shit. So I really just sit in the house. Boy, I can't even pop the fucking damn windows because. The bitch is like, it's so hard to get them open. And that's a fucking hazard. Like, what if I needed to get out my window to escape? I can't even get out properly. So, he said, so he said he gonna have to cut this out and cut some other stuff or whatever and come clean that. And he took the thing off. And he said something about like, it's just like a toilet when you flush it and the water fills up. Water not supposed to be in there or none of that, but like this is good because baby, like it was crazy, crazy. My love was like, Mama, she was like, Are you mad? And I was like, No, I'm not mad. She was like, Are you pissed off? I was like, Yeah, she's like, Sorry to use that word, but I think that's what you are. Yeah. And look, water out here leaking. That's probably why my water bill be high too. Like, why is water leaking from there? That shouldn't be leaking like that. But what do I know? And the, and the um thing is tight because I checked it. Up. And then why water leaking? I was like, maybe the thing is loose. And it's not. So why is that leaking water? <laughs>